Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm pretty new here. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm going to be doing a video over this I look right here. I got such positive feedback when I posted this I look on Instagram, so I figured I would do the tutorial for it. So if you wanted to do it, you can. I want to see how I did this I look right here, then just go ahead and please keep watching. Um, I'm going to be doing the look using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I have been using this non-stop since I've got it. It's not really that difficult of a, like, what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a voice over instead of a talk through. I've already primed my eyes with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is my go-to priming base to make your eyeshadows last as well as gives your lids coverage. Now I'm going to go in with the shade MFEO with a pointed dumbed crease brush. This is my favorite type of brush to get the shadow into the crease as well as being able to blend it out very well. Now we're going to keep building up this shadow till it's our desired intensity. We're going to focus this on the outer going into the inner. This is going to be the shade that is slightly above our crease that is going to peek through at the top of our shadows. So we want to make sure that that shadow is blended very well and it's not too harsh. So that way it just barely fades to the top. Then we're going to go in with the shade Pooter, which is one of my favorite crease shades from this palette. Now we're going to put this directly into the outer crease, slightly blending it toward the middle to blend the two shadows together. But we're going to focus this more on the outer part so it helps us create that smoky look that we're going for. So but focus this on the outer part of the crease. Now we're taking the shade Jax, which is my absolute favorite shadow from this palette. We're going to do this almost like Pooter where we're going to focus it on the outer crease but then blend it into the inner crease. We're going to keep packing and packing and packing the shade till it gets the intensity that we want. But always start lightly packing because you'd rather start light and build it up instead of building it too dark and not being able to blend it out. So once you get it to where you want it, start bringing it into the crease because this is another shadow that we want to pop. So once you start packing it onto the outer crease, start to slightly dome it over for the smoky look. So that way you can start building it with that shadow and blending all the shadow shades together. Now we're going to take the shade Chip, which is just like a chocolate chip shade, but it has kind of like a red undertone to it. Now, kind of like Jax, we're going to put this in the outer part, but this one we're not going to bring up too high. We're just going to focus this on the outer crease, kind of like the outer V section just to build up that smokiness because this is that deep shade that's going to make it really smoky. You could even go in with a black, but I don't want it that harsh. So we're just going to go in with this and slightly deepen it. Now we're going to go in with the shade Jada. Now this is a beautiful matte teal shade and this is going to help that shimmer shade that we're going to put on in a second really stand out and pop. We're going to start by putting this shadow into the inner corner kind of making the inner corner a little bit more pigmented than the other part of it. So we're going to follow along the natural crease of our eye and bring the shadow about halfway in, letting the outer part fade out more than the inner corner is. So make the inner corner more pigmented than the outer part, so there's not going to be any real harsh lines. And here comes the fun part where we get to use the shade Pool Party, which is this gorgeous blue teal shimmer shade. Now we're going to use MAC Fix Plus just to intensify the shimmer a little bit, more than what it already is. And we're going to pack that shadow right on top of Jada, putting it exactly where we put that one, starting from the inner corner, following along the crease of the eye to the about middle half of the eye. And we're going to be taking the shade Jax again just to blend away any harsh lines that there may be or if we might have lost any of that smokiness. But just blend that all over making sure there's not any harsh lines between the shadows. And now we're going to go in with the shades Pooter and Jax again for the lower lash line. I'm going to start with Pooter and then put Jax to intensify the smokiness on the bottom. Now you can go in with chip or again even a black if you want to intensify the look, but I just want to go with a slight smoky under eye. But again, you can go in with a deeper shade if you want it to be even more intense. And now it's time for liner. Now this is my favorite at the moment. It's the Maybelline Gel Liner. You can go in with any liner that you want, or you don't even have to use a liner. You can smoke it out with some black shadow. But what I'm going to do is just create my basic thick wing like I always do. 
you can definitely not do a wing or like I said you can go in with a black shadow just to smoke out the lash line but if I'm going to do any smoky look or basically any look but any smoky look I have to have a wing so I'm just going to create my basic thick wing now we're going to line our waterline now these are my favorite right now by NYX if you want a deeper color for the lower lash line but you don't want a harsh black now this one is in the shade burnt sienna which is like a deep burnt cranberry shade and i thought it tied in perfectly with the lower lash line shadows now we're going to do our top mascara with the urban decay perversion mascara now this has been my favorite right now for like kind of lightly fluffy volumized lashes but then we're going to go in with a colored bottom lash mascara. Now this is the Fiona Styles Volume Mascara. And it's in the shade Worth. Which is like a kind of really deep plum shade. Which kind of ties in with the cranberry shades. It's a lot different. But at the same time it's that same purpley red family. And it just blends in beautifully to create a pop of color on the lower lash line. I'm going to go off camera to do my lashes, but I'm going to put that on with the duo brush on adhesive. But my favorite lashes for any smoky look is the Ilor Luxe Gilded Lashes. And now we're going to go in with the shadows in light and beam. We're going to mix those two together and highlight our brow bone. And we're also going to take those same shadows and highlight the inner corner of our eyes. And now to finish off the look, we're going to go with lips. And this is the Fiona Styles Lip Pencil in the shade New Amsterdam. This is the perfect pinky brown shade if you want to do a nude lip. And then we're going to go with the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade 33 Pink Peony. And then after I put that on and it's not finished drying, I like to go back in with the lip pencil just to help create any more definition that might have got covered up by the lip stain. This is our finished look. I really hope that you all enjoyed. If you happen to recreate this look, tag me on Twitter or Instagram. Um, if you want to know all the stuff that I put on my face that I did not include in the video, I'll have it linked down below or listed down below, but I'll go ahead and tell you I use the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation, the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Concealer, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, the Estee Edit Barest Bronzer, Tarte Blush and Blushing Broad, and the Too Faced Love Light Highlighter and Blinded by the Light. So I think that was everything, but I will list it down below in case you were wondering how I got this face look. Um, but everything that I used for the eyes and the face, I will link down below in the description box.